everyone. So today I'm going to do a video telling you what I got for Christmas. Because Christmas is a week ago. Well, not even a week. Feels like ages ago now. But yeah, I've got a little bit of time off during this little Christmas period. So I thought I would do a little video to share with you what presents I got rather than putting it into a blog post like I did last year. I think I'll make a little video for you. So I will start off with... The first presents that I got because my friend is very naughty, very naughty, but um, she sent me when I uh, she works for Space NK, and um, she basically sent me this, which I don't know if you can see it. It is nude Pro Genius Omega treatment oil, which is at the moment my holy grail in terms of my skincare. Um, I use two products, and on my face and that is this oil but I actually use the rescue oil not the treatment oil but um yeah so anyway I use this and I also use this product which again I don't know if you can see it's a uh, Jalique rose water balancing mist and I spray this on my face and then I use one or two pumps of this and just rub it into my face all over and um, since I've been using those two products combined, my skin has really cleared up, which is really a godsend to me because I had a really bad like breakout situation a couple of years ago and I was left with quite a lot of acne scarring on my face. Not like really, really bad, but enough for it to be something that I wanted to clear up. So thank you, Sean, for saving my face um, by giving me, well, recommending these two products um, for me. So yeah, they're the first present that I got. Uh, I also got this, which you can't see, it's behind the scenes. It's my ring light. Um, I got that from my other half and my mother-in-law and it is improving my videos 10 times better, 100 times better. Um, the lighting in this room is awful and this is probably the, the best place for me to film so it's good to have a ring light uh, to be able to allow me to film better. Um, I'm using my new phone uh, to record my videos at the moment. I do intend to go back to my DSLR um, for better video quality but for now I'm just using my new Samsung S6. Um, what else did I get? What did I get? Ooh, I'll show you these really pretty earrings that my friend bought me. Now my friend again is naughty, my friend Mags that I work with. Um, we have a lady that comes in with like jewellery that she makes herself so it's all handmade and I commented that I, I thought these earrings were pretty and they're very expensive so she's very 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 naughty but they are absolutely beautiful they're just so gorgeous like little Swarovski crystals in the ring and obviously I don't know whether it's silver well, it should be silver. I hope it's silver because I'm actually allergic to costume jewellery. But for the price that she paid for them, I doubt there'll be anything less than silver. But they are absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to wear them. They're divine. So I love these. They're so pretty. So yeah, that's my other present. And on earrings again, my baby daughter bought me these really pretty sterling silver crosses. Thank you, Maya. I love them. Maya also bought me socks. I love the Ever Runs Out socks. Socks are the best thing in the world, especially when they're fluffy socks. Oh my god, you should feel the inside of this sock. Come inside, look. Look. Soft. It's fleecy. Yeah. Enough of the socks. I love these socks. I love fluffy socks. Comfort for me is like paramount. It's the one thing that I do not compromise on. Comfort. Um, I bought, this is cheating really, when um, the Black Friday sales happened, I, I blogged about it, well I kind of blogged about it, I put it on Instagram, but um, the Real Techniques Bold Metals collection in boots went down to half price from 60 odd quid to 30, so I snapped up these bad boys. just like looking at them they're like 
Oh, beautiful brushes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not on sad. You don't have to tell me, but they're really nice. Um, I guess that's a blusher brush. No, that's a blush brush. That's a face brush. I have no idea what brush that is. I will have to look it up. But yeah, these brushes are so soft. They're really nice. Lovely. I love it. Right, so that was my present to me. Um, my brother and sister-in-law got me more Real Techniques brushes. Um, I don't have this set. Um, I love the fact that you put stuff on an Amazon wish list and you get it. It you just never disappointed with what you get. It's like I want this, and then when you open it, you're like, finally, thank God, I have these things now. So yeah, um, three brushes from Real Techniques came with a little pouch. Obviously, I don't need the pouch, but I need the brushes. Um, I also got this little contour brush from Real Techniques as well. Not contour, concealer brush. I didn't really know. Um, my brother also, um, sister-in-law, also bought me my favourite mascara ever. And this is, see it? L'Oreal Telescopic um, False Lash Telescopic Infinite Length Effect. It's fantastic. And I'm going to show you it. The brush isn't like... Um, a big brush it's a tiny brush really thin you see it maybe you could focus but yeah it really lengthens out your lashes I don't tend to wear false lashes so I use two coats of mascara I use this which you can't actually buy in shops anymore you have to buy it online but this is magnetic black and it's absolutely fabulous and then I let that dry and then I use wonderful by Rimmel and uh, it's the mascara with argan oil, and that thickens them up. So, lengthen, thicken, and then you have my eyelashes. I don't really wear falsies because that's way too much effort for me. Um, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. What else did I get? My mummy bought me this uh, W7 lightly toasted in the buff palette. Some really pretty, bold, um, really pretty shades. Very, it's. I think it's a, you know, like a, a different, an upgrade palette of the In The Buff palette. There's two of them. I have the other one, which is this one, which I did a blog post about probably last year now. But yeah, this is like the lightly toasted version. So I'm yet to wear these. And I will try this. She also bought me this NYX palette, which is a combi palette of eyeshadows. Nude eyeshadows, which I have played with a little bit. There's some really nice nude eyeshadows, but it also has. I keep dropping stuff. These um, lip colours as well. Some really nice ones. I've tried this one. It's the only one I've tried so far. But yeah, I'm excited about using that. I'm going to pick up my brush. Sorry. Um, what else did I get? My mum bought me and Andy a, uh, what do you call it, like a, a virgin day out thing. And um, it's for a comedy thing. Comedy thing? What do you call it? Comedy night for two. So I've got that to book. Virgin experience day. Looking forward to doing that. Um, I got a blue sky uh, gel nail polish in nude which um, I don't know if you guys know but I also do gel nails so this is just to add to my collection everybody needs a nude and uh, I bought my Fitbit from my other half um, it's really gonna help me track my uh, steps I, at the moment my pedometer is on my phone and it's not very accurate so I asked for a Fitbit because I just want to be able to track. I Last year I set myself a goal of doing 10,000 steps a day and I got really excited because I thought I was doing 10,000 steps a day but that was obviously based on my phone pedometer so I probably wasn't but it did help me get into the swing of walking and if you know me you'll know that me and walking just 
don't mix. Like I would take a cab from my front door to my car if I could possibly, so because I hate walking. But um, over the last year I have got more involved with doing a bit more walking, so yeah, Fitbit. Um, I think it will also help me with uh, a big goal which my um, good friend and uh, fitness instructor Louise has put me on uh, for the new year for 2016. She's given me quite a big, a uh, big uh, challenge I guess. So yeah, that's what hopefully this will help me monitor that and also along the same sort of stream as um, for my fitness classes and buddy hop. I got some new training. Um, they're just Nike core motion trainers. So yeah, I, I spend my life in trainers. I do fitness classes too many times a week and walking to and from the train station. So trainers are my life. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got, which now in hindsight doesn't seem a lot. And I felt like I had tons. Oh, I forgot to show you my favorite present. My favorite, favorite present ever. Holy book. This book was made by my daughter and it just says Catherine Henry Memories with love from Maya and this book I'm not gonna lie made me cry bucket loads when I read it for the first time because of two things one she put all some really important memories in it and um but it was more the fact that she took the time to make it um for me uh, I think now where she's getting to an age now where she kind of understands that I think this is also the first year that she's had like money to spend on people for Christmas so she kind of went out of her way to get photos printed and all sorts of stuff and it's, it was a really sentimental gift and I blubbered like a baby when I opened it but um, I'm going to show you a few pages so yeah this is the first page this is a very old picture of me so quite old. I was probably like what, seventeen, sixteen, when I took that photo. Um, yeah, she wrote some things. She was talking about the fact that it all started when I got my teeth done, and just give you a bit of a background. This is what I used to take my pictures like before I had my teeth done. I never used to smile with my teeth. Never. Like, I was too ashamed. I've always loved doing makeup and making myself look pretty, but I'd never, ever, ever smile with my teeth. And that was taken on the day, that's it, that was taken on the day that I went to have my surgery. And that was probably during the during the recuperation period. My face was swollen like a chipmunk. So yeah, some really sweet things that she wrote in here. I won't bore you too much with it, but because you probably don't actually care but yeah she she did some really nice stuff like she took some she took some of the photos and or all the collaborations that I've done with different brands and and stuff and obviously talked about me winning Miss British Beauty Curve and some of the modeling shoots that I've done um I just I, I can't really explain how much it meant to me to get something like this it really did it touched my heart and just reading it just makes me happy um she went and she asked a whole heap of my friends and my neighbours and, and people that I love to write some messages in here. So I got some really nice messages from family and friends. Um, she got my mummy and my daddy to write in it. And obviously that... That's my mum. Can you see my mummy? I look like her, right? And, um... <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm rambling. And my daddy. My papa smurf. And he wrote a nice little message as well. And this is one of my favourites. She's basically left loads of space for, for me to do crow feet. Now, for those of you who don't know what a crow feet is, um, when I won Miss British Beauty Curve, I made it my mission to share my crown with as many people as possible. And um, the reason behind that is because when I put on this crown, I feel fantastic. It makes me feel like a million dollars. And I know I'm English, so I don't know why I'm talking about dollars, but it makes me feel fantastic. And I always said that if I could share the way that that fit make crown makes me feel with everyone, then that's what, in my opinion, what being a queen is, is sharing a bit of that, 
you know that appreciation and giving back so I have tried to basically get my crown out there as much as possible and <laughs> I have taken some crelfies that's crown selfies for the uneducated with some really fantastic people I think the one thing that she um she was reveling in is Tess Holiday wearing the crown that's pretty cool but like yeah she's got pictures of of all my family and friends best friends some some really important people to me wearing the crown and she left some blank pages for me to fill up with other people and their grill fees. I have so many grill fees, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, she even put a, a little message about my dog. My dog Sensi. She's my keeper. Yeah, I had to put her down over a year ago now. Because she had cancer and she was like 15. Or maybe 16. But yeah, she was an old girl. And um, yeah, we had to put her down. So it was really odd not having her around so it was nice to have that in here and um yeah so that's my my favorite present and the little shit has just crawled in through the door so everybody say hi maya hi maya she doesn't want to talk she's breezed off um right so yeah i will love you and leave you Mwah. um let me know what you got for christmas i want to know i'm i'm being Nosy, I guess, just back again. Um, yeah, hope you have a fantastic new year, people. Uh, let me know what you're up to. I don't really have any plans yet, which is kind of disappointing. I should probably make some plans, but I don't really want to have to pay for these plans. So I'll probably just end up in my gym jams in my house. Anyway, so yeah, love you all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know. Love you, bye.